Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I am on the East Coast, so it's 7.03. I'm about to get out here on this road. I know y'all see me with sweatshirts, especially this one on a lot. It's like my favorite, most comfortable for me to be in driving all day. So it is clean. <laughs> I watched it last night in case y'all were like, wait, is this a different video or is she in that same sweatshirt again? But it's one of my most favorite. I like to be comfortable when driving. So I wear my cute little workout clothes while I'm driving to look presentable. And then so I can go right from there for a workout. But it is Wednesday morning and I am here to do a quick story with y'all. So there has been, I won't say a rash of burglaries, but we've heard about two burglaries so far. Wendy Osefo, when she was away a couple of weeks ago. And I don't know if y'all know about it, but Crystal Kung Minkoff, she was recently in Japan, I believe, right before she announced that she was leaving. Her home was also broken into, and I believe that was around the same time as Dr. Wendy. Well, now, according to TMZ, Kyle Richards' daughter, Farah, her home was burglarized, y'all, in broad daylight yesterday. So, Kyle, according to TMZ, Kyle Richards' daughter, and speaking of TMZ, shout out to my friend, Kim Pyre, who was on TMZ yesterday. If you have not seen his segment, go check out. His page, he was on TMZ. I thought that was really cool. All right. Kyle Richards' daughter's home burglarized in broad daylight. Jewelry, handbags, swiped. Kyle Richards raced to her daughter's side this week after hearing about an emergency at her kid's home as the place got broken into by thieves who busted in in broad daylight. Sources tell TMZ, Farah, I'm not sure how to say her last name. So Farah A., L.A. area home got burglarized Tuesday afternoon with the crime happening around 1 p.m. Um, California time. Thankfully, we're told Farah wasn't home when this happened. But unfortunately, these crooks made off with quite a lot. Our sources say the burglars forced open a door on the property and made entry into the home. And at some point during their stealing spree, we're told they actually cut Farah's Wi-Fi off completely, likely in hopes of trying to cut the connection to surveillance cameras. We're told the break-in was likely captured by different angles, so this will likely help police down the road. But in the meantime, our sources say fair is out of a hell of a lot of property. The way they be writing these articles, including pricey handbags and pretty much all of her jewelry. There's no official estimate at this point on just how much was taken and how much it was all worth. But from the sounds of it, a large haul. Kyle and Farah were seen speaking with investigators on the scene afterwards, and we actually got Kyle as she was leaving. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department is heading up the investigation. So far, no arrests have been made. No word on just how many of these goons are on the loose. So this is, I'm going to share my screen with y'all real quick so we can go ahead and see what Kyle said. It's just I, to me, it would feel like such a violation. I know there's been times in my own home where I felt like maybe somebody was here that shouldn't be, especially in my previous home, and uh, something came up missing. And it just feels like, even when I lose something, it feels like, <gasps> so let alone somebody taking something that you've worked hard for, it feels like a violation I've been stolen from before. And it's like, that was mine. How dare you just come take, you know, what's not yours, what's mine. So I can't even imagine someone literally breaking into your home, you know, your home where you're supposed to be at peace and just taking all your stuff. So let's see here. Let's share the screen so we can see what Kyle had to say, honey, hold on. Hey Kyle. Every are you are you okay? Is everyone safe? We heard there was a burglary. Is your daughter safe? Yes, she's fine. She's safe. Is everyone okay? Yes, thank you. Did they get the guy that did it? Yeah, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kyle. Good to see you. It wasn't much, but I don't blame her. I'd be like, get out of my face. <clears throat> She's safe. You see me walking. Uh, I always think about that, being that reporter on the street, having to ask these questions when you know that, I mean, every once in a while you may get somebody spilling, right? 
But for the most part, you're not. And you know the person is probably annoyed and wants you in the cameras to get out of their face. But prayers up for Kyle and for, well, for Farah, her family, for her peace uh, being in that home. Them just forcing open a door. It's like, I even think about that with my house. Like sometimes I'll, because when you walk in, you know, you have the room all the way in the back, but then you go up steps into the kitchen. And it's like, when I'm bringing in groceries, running up and down the steps. So it's like, well, let me run out, grab something from my car, the driveway, run back in with the door open, run out, run back in. And it's like anybody I think could be walking by and look in my house and see, you know, just any of those thoughts. We have French doors in our room off the deck, which is on the second level. So I'm not too concerned about that. But on the first floor, there's French doors. And I think about like, what if somebody were to just walk behind the house outside and just want to, because let's be clear, people can break your glass. Like they don't care about that kind of stuff. And now clearly they're breaking into celebrity homes. And my thought is, do y'all think they don't have an alarm system? And do they not have alarm systems? Like no alarm system went off. She didn't have any motion sensors or sensors on her door for it to go off and potentially scare them. Why do they, maybe they, it's like surveillance cameras and alarm systems are two totally different things. I used to work at an alarm company for seven years and I'm just shocked at the amount of celebrities it seems like that don't have alarm systems. Speaking of alarm systems, Sean, we need to, uh, we need to get, we have one here. We just need to get it activated or whatever. But again, prayers up to Farah, her family. She be at peace, child, because it it just seemed like y'all don't have alarm systems. All right. Anyway, let me get out on this road. Y'all, please say a prayer for me that the energy in my car remain positive, that these people get in my car and I say good morning, good afternoon, drop them off, and that they don't want to have conversation. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. See ya.